what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to remove all noise from an audio clip that you've recorded in your studio or in your house or anywhere so if you have noticed that sometimes when you record your audios when you are recording your audios there are these noises in the background and sometimes you wonder how am i able to remove that well worry no more because in today's video i'm going to be showing you exactly how you are able to do that so without wasting your time let's jump into the video <laughs> So here with me, I have an audio clip that I have recorded for the purposes of this video. Let me just play it for you a little bit. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove noise from an audio clip that you have recorded in FL Studio. So without wasting your time, let's jump into the video. So I don't know if you can hear it, but at the beginning and at the end, you can literally tell that there's some background noise. If I play it like somewhere here, there is background noise. Yeah. In my purpose is that I don't want to have that that noise in my final mix or in my final song. How am I able to remove that? So step number one, you're going to double click on the audio clip and this window will pop up. Then I want you to go down here where it shows the waveform. You're going to right click and you will see this menu pop up. Under that menu, you are going to open this audio in audio editor. If you click there, that opens up Edson, the audio editor. Edson, it's an Echo Studio stock plugin. So here, I want you to listen very carefully. What you have to do first is select a part where there is noise only. Don't select a part where the vocal is. So if I'm selecting a part, I would only select a part where the noise is only. I'm not selecting here where the vocal is because if I do that, Edson will take my vocal as noise and we don't want it to do that. So it will cut out all the vocals. So we're just going to select a piece or a part where the noise is there, only the noise. So step number two, after we've selected that part, I want you to come here where there's a toothbrush. If you see the toothbrush of an icon and I want you to right click there first. Make sure you do that first because when you right click there, you are telling the, de the denoiser in, in Edson that take a sample of the noise from this part that I've selected. Then step number three, what we are going to do is now that we have, select we have right clicked on the toothbrush, I want you to select the whole clip. Now that Edson already knows what the sample of the noise is. So we're going to select the whole clip because that's the one that we want to clean then after that you are going to left click on the toothbrush this time when you left click on the toothbrush you will see this window pop up this is the edson denoiser uh this is where if you see you will see this graph this green graph with um this yeah it looks different for everyone depending on the amount of noise that you have on your audio clip so what you are going to do is you can come down here and just preview it to see is it what you want or is is it cutting out too much vocals because sometimes i found out that if the noise is a little bit too loud it's going to cut down your vocals so we don't want you to do that so here we're just going to play around with the setting so what you can simply do is just come down here and press preview what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing. okay what so for up, me guys? Welcome i already back to my channel for me i already like that so i'm just going to press click accept and if you let's say you don't like it let me just go back let's say you don't like it you can come up here and play around with the amount that that's the amount of of denoising it's going to apply on your audio so if you push it all the way to the right in this direction it's going to really really remove the the, the noise but also might affect your vocal if you keep it a little bit to the left, it's going to go easy on the noise, but also it means the noise might still be there even after you've cleaned it. So you just want to find the right spot, the sweet spot, by moving this dial to the left and the right and clicking preview until you find something you like. I've already accepted this, so I won't accept it the second time. Then after that, this this track now is denoised. If I can just play it for you, I'm sure you'll notice a difference what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to remove noise from an audio clip that you have recorded in fl studio so without wasting your time let's jump into the video so as you can tell at the beginning and the end we no longer have that hiss 
that 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 noise that we didn't want so what you have to do after that just bring it into your audio uh playlist what you have to do you can come up here you see an an, an arrow with a file this means drag this audio clip into the playlist i could see if you left click on it and you drag you see i can drag it and simply drop it in the playlist or i could use another method that uh let me try show you that method Or you can just come down here where it says on the send to playlist as audio clip. So if you press there, it's going to send this audio clip straight into the playlist. As you can see, if I press here, it's going to show up right here. So that's what you want to do after you're done cleaning up your, your, your audio clip. This works for very long audio clips. Uh, but I would encourage you to try to remove the noise first before you get into the uh, denoising. But you have, if you have no other option, of removing the noise this is i hope you found this very helpful if you like this video don't forget to click like and subscribe and also leave a comment down below so that i know what type of videos you like and so that i know if this video has helped you or not for me that's a wrap i'll see you tomorrow cheers